welcome. So today we're going to do the windmill. Uh, I want to do a garden one. If you could do it indoors too, I'll show you where we'll stop and you could do an indoor one if you want to put it on your wall. We're going to do a garden one. So let's start. So there's different pans you can get. I'm not sure where this one, if it was from Dollarama or Dollar Tree. I think Dollar Tree, I'm not sure. There was one at Dollar Tree I really wanted. It kind of had like, it was a cookie sheet and it was a lot bigger because you only can get one blade out of this size. Um, this one I bought just in case I needed to, do, I wanted to do in the front and the back, but I'm gonna omit this one. But there's a really cool one at Dollar Tree. You'll see it's um, a flat cookie sheet and it has a bunch of bumps on it. I really wanted that one, but they only had one and I wouldn't need more than one to do the blades. So I got the pan, I'm gonna do seven blades. Now, I already cut one, and I'm just gonna show you. So I'm just gonna go like this. You can make one, I just drew one freehand the first time that I did it. And it doesn't matter if there's black on it, because we're gonna put a little bit of paint on it. And the paint will be almost galvanized, you'll see. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can straighten it with your scissors. It's just kind of an outline, as I hope you can see. So, I'm just gonna... So, once you do that, you can cut it out. It'll end up looking like this. Now, what I did was just use some dollar store black paint. I'd use this brush. So, when you're doing it, it does, because it's metal, it doesn't stick Finally, it will stick in certain coats. All I did all over was just put it all over and just kept moving it around. Now it's gonna be a little bit hard because I try to look in the camera. But I'm gonna show you a little bit closer what it looks like. And so I did I did these ones. So that you would need on the one that I'm gonna do is seven. So seven of these you're gonna need. All depends on the size you do as well. Uh, I don't know if you're going to do a really big one. If you do it smaller, you probably could do two in one pan if it's just the regular pan like these. Uh, I'm going to show you. And then once we get that done, I actually started doing... I'm going to show you here. Now for the middle part... Uh, these are a Dollar Tree. They're just the floral forms. It's a two pack. I actually uh, had a couple lying around. I'm just going to show you. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Once that's, uh, once you do all your fans and blades and paint them. So what I do, the, I just want to go back to this. Sorry about that. Uh, once I do the black on it, what I'm going to do is put a clear coat spray sealer on it. I have a Mod Podge uh, sealer. I'm just going to give it a spray. So because I want to use this one outside, if it gets wet, this paint, you know, as acrylic paint, will just eventually wash, wash off the blades. So I'm going to do a clear coat spray on the blades when I'm all done them. So back to this. So I did spray this. It does need another coat. As you can see, I missed a few spots. So this will be the part where I will put attach the blades to the center form. Sorry, all these things are not in front of me. So the center form, I'm gonna stick. These are the skewers. They come in a long, long bag. It's the bamboo skewers. There are 12 pieces. I end up cutting them down. Uh, I'm not going to tell you measurement because it all just according to the size of the blades that you do for your windmill. I have a pre-cut because I was just trying to see if it would work. What I was looking at. So I only have one done. But I'm going to put it on like this. And I'm going to glue it on the back. And I'm actually going to paint these uh, silver as well. So we'll get to that. The hole, how I did the hole was just took a marker and just very lightly started going through the hole with the marker until I went all the way through, as you can see. How we're gonna do the next part 
You'll need some dowels. I had some in a building block set and this building block set's been great because I've been able to pull it out many times for different little parts. It was like a building wood set and it always has different little parts on it. So, oh, I'm gonna try to paint uh, some black on this. I want it to more of a, like kind of a little bit of a rustic, you know, metal kind of look on it. So I'm gonna try a little bit of black on it. I will do some little accent pieces. Now I have these, or actually they came in a pack. Now let me see where they are. I think they're just in my drawer right here. That I wanna make look like trivets. Um, this was the pack from Dollar Tree. It was just a bunch of them that came the different sizes and the pearls. And they're only the half pearls, so I thought it would be perfect for doing trivets all the way around according to the fan. But I'm gonna wait till I put the fan on to do that. And I know they're pearl, but before I even tried to put them on, I'm actually gonna spray paint them silver and probably try to do a little bit of a wash of a black on it. So it kind of has a little rustic look. So let me get to getting all the blades uh, finished and painted, spraying a nice coat on them, gluing all my sticks. Like I said, it just depends how big your blades are. So the Bamboo skewers come in a pack of 12, so I don't think, unless you're doing a, you know, have a bigger centerpiece with a bigger, um, a bigger windmill that you wanna do, but I'm gonna use seven. So I kind of placed it out already that I'll be well having the seven uh, blades on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint all this. I don't think you guys wanna see me painting little uh, skewer sticks. I'm gonna finish painting a couple more of these blades and putting the coat on. I might just do a little bit more black on their second coat before I actually put the blades on them. And then once I get that all done, then I'll go back and show you what we're gonna do for the middle part because on what I wanna do, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna attach it to, what I wanna do is I actually want it to be able to spin. So it will be a dowel that I will show you and I have a little connector that I've kind of figured out and I'm hoping it's gonna work. So let me get finished with this and the blades and that. And once I get all that done, we'll move on to putting the pieces together, the back form, I have another back form and the actual stand that I'm gonna put it on. We'll see you shortly. All right, so I went and finished all the blades. I finished painting all the black blades. I actually put my clear coat on them. Uh, had a bit of a shine. Um, so it, it should not come off outside. I've done that. I put the little trivets, uh, let me just see. I'm looking for a little piece here. I did the little trivets which were made out of, once again, I did the pearls. I just dotted them with some cheap dollar store and I also did a coat as well over them. But they are sticky, but what I did was I did some extra glue, just some foam glue from DT, just to make sure that they stay on and they don't come off. Um, just put a little bit of black, as you can see, around the sides as well. I found a cap. I had a wood cap off a drink and there actually was a cork on there. I actually just took it off uh, the cork and cleaned it all out. I did uh, just the dollar store black paint and also put the clear coating on it. So once I'm gonna attach the the dowel through there, but we're not there yet. So the next step we'll do is, I decided instead of just doing the one stick on them per blade, I wanna do two sticks. It will hold better on the back of them. So I didn't bother doing so much black paint up here. As you can see, I just more did it where it's just gonna stick in. I use a little hole, um, it's a tool, I don't even know what you use this for, but it's always good for puncturing stuff. So I punctured two holes already on the side, as you can see. So I will, oh, it's upside down, put these two in. And this is how I will, I'm gonna, before I put these ones in though, I will stick some glue and I'll use E6000 and I will glue those in. And then I will also put my blade on and I will also turn it over and glue it on the back as on the back as well as to flip it over. So I'm gonna repeat this step all the way around and get all the sticks glued in. Also glue the 
the wood skewers on as well to the blade and I will place them all the way around and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so when I put all the sticks on, I actually needed to make an extra fan. So I actually have the eight, uh, eight of them now. I thought I would fit seven, but there was enough space when I put the sticks. So I actually, I'm gonna flip it over. I can show you on the other side when I put them in that actually you can see the black where I painted. I just went over with silver. I don't know, just kind of fussy about that and just went around and did it. As you can see, I'm just gonna move this over to the side. I just wanna, oh, I'll show you. I also did, this will be the connector that will go in through the hole um, that I will connect it with. But I also put um, just some rings, wooden rings that I had. And I might put one on the other side. This part itself will be, it will be down. I haven't figured if I'm gonna do it in the front or the back yet. I think it's gonna be glued in the back. I'm just trying to figure out the pieces. I think it's gonna be glued like that. So you won't see the ring. So I will have it like that. Now seeing that, I'm just gonna move by the way. How I made how I made this part, and I'll just show you. I think I just showed you a little bit earlier. It was just a um, a wooden uh, dowel that I had in my uh, box of crafting stuff for building blocks. But you can also, if you can't find them, these are from Dollar Tree. They just came in a pack of three. I'm not sure where the small one is. Uh, the small ones too, I think, would be too small for the hole, depending on your size of fan. But you could just pluck the the cotton off and you can use that. It's, I think I measured it and it was actually the same size. Oops. You could do that. And for a cap, this was like I said from a drink that had a cork on it and I pulled it off. But I did already glue it together with Gorilla Glue. Or else you could even use, you can improvise with different caps. You could even use like a cap like that from a drink. Or, you know, like a... Um, something smaller like a pepsi bottle one of those 750 mil ones that are a lot smaller than this it's really it all depends on what you want to use you could use pretty much uh you know what you feel like you like to do best now where i live we're currently on lockdown so i can't buy any crafting stuff i did originally buy these which are the plant hangers from dt you guys probably have all seen them my fans way too big to put on here because it will be almost like this much from the ground. So I had to improvise. So I'm actually gonna use, and I will move my camera in a moment, what I'm gonna use, but I just totally forgot about this part that I have to actually put on. So I'm improvising with stuff that I have at home to do this fan. So on this part, this is actually uh, the outside of her reef. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's one of the larger reefs I had and just end up cutting the inside out. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to place it for extra support and glue it. I don't have enough to take uh, extra support all the way down to the center it. And I will put the the bamboo skewers, I will glue it on. So it will kind of look like this when it's uh, when it's done. So let me change my camera. I'm gonna show you. I haven't figured out all the details. I'm still working out the details with the stand for myself, um, how I'm gonna do this and adjust it, but I got a, got a good idea. So let me move the camera and we'll show you uh, what I have in mind. Okay, the last time we left off, uh, I was going to do a different stand, so I'm not too, um, I tried to do it, it was very tedious, I didn't like it, so I'm changing it again, so this is going to be the third base. Now, you could put this in the garden as well, uh, would be great for a fireplace mantle or, you, you know, um, crescenda, crescenda, I think that's how you say it, um, or any side table at all. So these, you know, they had a bunch of different sayings at Dollar Tree. So I'm actually going to do it, and I'll show you the way. I'm going to do it like this. 
you can glue them together, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them. I'm going to use these actually, I think they're just called corner brackets, and put them in this way, one on each side. I had the other one. I don't know where it went. I'm going to do it that way. And then I'm going to take the third one, and I'm just going to stand it straight up. And where the fan part where the circle part I'll be able to put oops sorry I'll be able to put the hoop through there the circular dowel the big dowel that holds the fan through there and I'll be able to screw it in so that's what my next thing I think I'm just going to do it black I had a few different ideas I got to work with what I have at home since our stores are closed um so yeah so let me get this painted and then we will put the final touch and put it together at the very end and i will show you what the outcome is okay i just wanted to show you so i glued the i actually glued them i tried to screw them they were a little bit hard but i actually used some gorilla glue and i actually glued them together and i left them overnight you'll see a little bit of white in here right now so i just used the regular sorry regular um, dollar store black acrylic paint. I painted it. Then I used some Mod Podge. I used the matte, but there's still a little bit of a shine to it. And it's still drying here, but I just put it together. You could see I added an extra piece of wood in the back, but I flipped it the other way. And I'm actually going to do the attachment of the windmill on here. This will be solid where there'll be some little brackets. I will have this little bracket over, I'm just trying to show you in the camera, I will have the bracket and I will screw that on top right there and attach the windmill. So once I get that done, I will come back and I will show you, I'm just going to use some two little regular, um, just some wood screws and put the, uh, attach the windmill on. Okay, I just brought it outside. I just wanted to show you the final result. I actually attached it to the back in the stand. I put a little bit of greens on the bottom. You could also put rocks. It all really depends on you. I put the little cups there so you can actually see how big of the size it is. And I'm just going to move closer and I'm just going to show you that it actually turns. And it's a cute little piece. Anybody that likes windmills. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe like and comment if you like and have yourself a great day. Bye.